Greetings, comrades! More than a year ago, while we were all in quarantine and languishing in boredom, some curious news emerged on the internet. Elon Musk, Tom Cruise, and NASA. What can unite all these people? No, they didn't agree to build a Scientologist based on the moon, sadly. They merely decided to film the world's first movie in space. But of course, there was one man in the world who had to stop it. The hero we needed, but not the one we deserved. Dmitry Ragozin. And so a week ago, the Soyuz MS-19 departed from Baikonur. Cosmonaut Anton Shkaplerov, actress Yulia Perisilt, and director Klim Shipenko. They will be shooting the movie called The Challenge in space. Let's talk about it. Okay, first of all, let's be honest. After all, it's not an entire film crew going into space, but only the director and one actress. Two cosmonauts will play two more roles, but they will kinda play cosmonauts. Therefore, to call the future film The Challenge the first movie shot in space is a very big exaggeration. Nevertheless, this is quite an interesting challenge, and the place in the Guinness Book of Records for these guys is practically guaranteed. Although, there were already some companies who were even able to raise money for a similar project. Too bad they failed in the end, yeah. Let's see though, where did the idea of movies in space even come from? But before we do, I want to remind you again that I have a Discord server. It's not very old and I'm pretty active on it. So if you want to chat with me and 500 other guys about Russia or literally everything else, you are welcome to join. And now, let's go. First of all, what is the whole point of filming in space? After all, planes that can simulate wavelessness do exist, and the problem of the beautiful Earth outside the spacecraft window is solved by green screen, CGI and some footage. So why does this idea come up again and again, and why are countries willing to spend millions of dollars on it? First of all, it is worth noting that this will be the first feature film shot in space. For there have already been films made on the ISS, mostly documentaries. And in 2012, entrepreneur and space tourist Richard Garriott shot a science fiction film clocking in at about 8 minutes too. So what's the point anyway? Actually, it is simple, both NASA and Roscosmos are well aware that interest in space have been plummeting over the past 20 to 30 years. Both from ordinary people and from governments, which are no longer so eager to allocate budgets to them. A cool movie shot in space won't probably solve the problem of shrinking budgets, but it can raise the popularity of space tourism and space exploration as a whole among ordinary people. In general, in my personal opinion, the space industry of mankind just lacks outstanding personalities who would attract interest to it. Yes, the US has Elon Musk who specializes on this very thing, on drawing attention. But that is not enough. And that's why NASA and Tom Cruise announced their desire to make a movie in space. Their goal wasn't even hidden, as evidenced by a tweet from Jim Bridenstine, who was a NASA administrator at that time. They really needed new young people to fall in love with space. And for NASA, this movie was just a means to an end. In fact, it was the perfect project for all three parties involved. For Tom Cruise, it was a chance to cement his place in history as an actor who took the most risks when filming. So far, Jackie Chan is probably still ahead of him. For NASA, it was a great way to use the power of Hollywood to attract new people with fresh ideas, who will become scientists and engineers in 10 to 15 years, and will work for the benefit of the agency. I mean, if Tom Cruise was able to inspire some people to become jet pilots with his Top Gun, why couldn't he pull that stunt once again? Yes, NASA using the power of Hollywood. I've seen that before somewhere. And well, for Elon Musk, it's kind of like a Tesla Roadster sent to space. Just because he can. But now, some Russians have ruined this whole beautiful plan. Damn Russians. Let's take a look at their project and their goals after all. Can we say that Roscosmos was pursuing exactly the same goals as NASA? Yes and no. Officially, Roscosmos said that the main goal is popularization of Russia's space activities and heroization of the cosmonaut profession. 
Of course, it is still a very good idea for increasing the popularity of space industry in Russia, but there are several problems here. First of all, for ordinary people in Russia, space still seems like a closed zone, a place where the state has a 100% monopoly, and people who work in this field are also selected exclusively by the state. This is something that dates back to Soviet times, and so far there has been no way to change it. So will young people really believe that they actually can become space engineers, space explorers and so on? I don't know. I mean, I remember being a kid and I didn't have a dream of becoming a cosmonaut simply because it seemed too unrealistic. I doubt that one movie can change this feeling. Maybe Roscosmos should work more with kids to get them interested in the field and to make them believe that the road to space is not that hard. The second thing is that Russia doesn't have Hollywood. Unfortunately, this is true. I don't want to say anything bad about the director or the actress playing the main role. Klim Shipenko with his text and surf is a very good director by Russian standards, but it's still not Hollywood. It's unlikely that they can create as vivid and massive of an action movie as Tom Cruise could. I'll be glad to be wrong. But it's also hinted at by the fact that only half an hour of the upcoming movie will actually be shot in space. And the movie itself will be about how the doctor, Yulia Perisilt, was sent to the ISS to save the cosmonaut who got sick. They couldn't transfer him to Earth, so she had to conduct a surgery in difficult conditions of ISS. That is, the main character of the film will not be the cosmonauts, but the doctor. And if the movie is good, it is more likely to encourage young people to choose medicine rather than the space industry. So this particular incentive for making this movie looks questionable to me personally. So what is the true motivation behind all of this? To rub America's nose in it, of course. America's, NASA's and Elon Musk's, personally. It is for history books to add another first to the endless list of the first achievements of Russia and the Soviet Union in space. Is this motivation good or bad? Of course, there are many negative things in this whole situation. First of all, spaceship commander Anton Shkaplerov had to go into space basically alone, without flight engineers on board, i.e. all docking duties fell on his shoulders. He performed the task brilliantly and was able to dock with the station in manual mode, but it was risky. Plus, some cosmonauts spoke out against the idea of filming movies in space, suggesting that the money better be spent on the cosmonaut training center instead. Of course, they are entitled to such an opinion. I perfectly understand that some cosmonauts may be offended that some random people from the streets are flying to space instead of them, instead of professionals. But personally, I think that they are just upset that soon almost anyone will be able to fly into space, and their profession will cease to be so elite. So, I'll tell you honestly, I like this idea. Yes, many people are unhappy that a lot of budget money will be spent on it. Yes, there is a possibility that most scenes from space will be modified or even remade using CGI. And yes, maybe during that two weeks on the ISS, the real cosmonauts could have done some important experiments instead of participating in some movie. But I'm a simple man. I'm not that interested in important experiments in space. But I am interested in an actual movie shot on the ISS. It's awesome. And it outweighs all the arguments against this film for me. I can only hope that my faith in Russian cinematography will not be in vain. And the challenge will be remembered not only because it will be the first movie, but also because it will be a good movie.